Hey, what up, all my peeps? That's right, Loka's back in the house. How's everybody doing? I hope you guys been doing really good. I hope everybody's healthy and everything. Um, before I start off my little bloggy blog blog today, I wanted to give a really special shout out and a really special happy birthday over to my homeboy Adrian, all up in New York. You know that Loka loves you, and um, I'm about to send a big old fat birthday kiss out there to you. So, mm, there you go, homie. And I know all you people love my lips up on here. So, mm, 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 Loka lips all up in the house. Loka mo. Mm, mm, coming at you live and raw. Mm. How's everybody doing out there? Anyway, I sounded like a damn hillbilly right now when I just said that. How's everybody doing out there? But, um, yeah, so happy birthday, homeboy. You know the local loves you. But anyways, you guys, um, I'm kind of pissed off at Silent Girl right now because... She's been acting really strange with me lately, and I don't know why, but, like, any time that I ask her to, like, do a blog or, like, um, you know, just do anything that has to do with, like, YouTube and stuff, she acts pretty weird. Like, earlier today, you know, I told her to come over and do a blog with me and everything, and she said that she was coming over, and then she never even showed up, you guys. That's straight jack up. She straight up left her homegirl hanging. That ain't cool, eh? Like... You don't do shit like that, you know, that's jacked up, and it's fine if she don't want to, like, do stuff like that, you know, or, like, be up on here or whatever, that's fine, all she gotta do is tell Loka, but, you know, she don't have to try to act like it and make me be feeling weird about, like, our friendship and stuff just because, you know, she don't like it, she just got to tell me, I, you know, come on, you guys know how Loka is, I ain't gonna be, like, scandalous with her, get mad at her because she don't want to come up on here, you know, I don't blame her since all you damn rude people out there Oh, we've got to talk a bunch of crap like you know what you're saying. I wouldn't want to come back up on here if I was silent girl either. Shoot. But she lucky I ain't silent. I got a big old mouth and you know Loka will open her boca anytime she has to. So whatever. But I hope everything works out and you know that I love you silent girl if you watch this. And you know I don't know if something's going on or what. But come back up over here and do a damn blog with me already homegirl. I know she's silent. So she's so beautiful, you know. But anyways, um, I got a lot of stuff I wanted to talk about real quick. Um, I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible, you guys. Even though you know I always like be talking for 18 years or whatever. But um, uh, Paris Hilton made a blog up on here trying to show her stupid little music video and stuff. All right, homegirl. You know what? You're already up on magazines. You're up on TV. You know you're all famous and shit for doing some scandalous ass movie. Why the hell are you gonna try to come over here up on YouTube and take that away from us, fool? Seriously, homegirl, you know what? You rich people, you got all this money and you get shit for free anyways. Hello? Why the hell you get everything for free if you got all this money to be buying it? You guys are up on everything, like... You have everything you want in the world. Why you gotta come up where the little people hang out up on YouTube and try to ruin this for us now, you know? Come on, homegirl. Get the hell out of here. Go back to, you know, your show, The Simple Life or whatever. Because you know what? Loka's life ain't that simple, all right? So why don't you get the hell out of here and go find something else to do? Because, you know, I don't want to have to rip out your blonde-ass fake extensions by their black roots. All right, homegirl? Damn. I just, oh, that shit straight pisses me off, eh? I don't like, mm mm. This is our place, homegirl, not yours. Um, another thing, Bohem, let me tell you something, or Bohemi, whatever the hell, I don't even know what the hell it is. Homa, you know what? Loka is dyslexic, and anytime I'm trying to type up on the computer and do a search for you or something, that you use a three instead of an E for your name, and it, like, it got me all jacked up. Seriously, Loka can't handle that fool. It takes me so long just to, like, type out your name properly. My, you know, I will, I don't know, I, I'm very dyslexic, and that shit has jacked me up, oh boy. But anyways, um, you know, you made that video talking about you want to leave because you feel like you ain't going nowhere with all this and stuff you know what quit bitching homeboy you know you got all these subscribers so you know all these people like to watch you and all these people like to love you how are you gonna go and bail out on all of us like that you know together we all make this crazy ass youtube community and you're just gonna straight up try to you know leave us like that that's jacked up fool seriously don't be trying to come up on there you know you ain't gonna leave bohemi all right everybody go ahead and freak out loka is giving it up to bohemi all right i give you props homeboy whatever but don't be trying
time to leave, all right? Just, you know, change your little diaper, wipe your little butt, and lay down with your bottle and take a little nap, and you'll feel better when you wake up, you know? Don't come on here like that. You're starting to sound like filthy whore and shit, you know? I swear to God, you guys, like, I think that YouTube, you know, needs a, a new little babysitter or a new daycare or something because I swear to God, we got a bunch of crybabies up in this shit. Anyways, um, I wanted to, you guys, I watched this thing the other night. It's about this dude and he was living up in India. Homeboy had a big old belly like he was pregnant for like 36 years. And then one night he couldn't even breathe anymore so he had to go to the hospital. Ugh. I'm sorry. It makes me really sick to think about the story, you guys. Seriously, it's gross. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Um, they went up to the hospital and homeboy had a... The doctor said that when he got his belly open to see what was in it, he had like a little fetus up in there. And they show it. This thing, like, I guess homeboy, when he was in his mother's stomach, you know, he um had a twin and the twin somehow latched onto him. Seriously, you guys, my stomach is very late. This shit makes me nauseous to think about. <sighs> Anyways, he had a twin that latched up onto his stomach and his belly grew over his twin. So his twin was like never, you know, never finished growing or whatever. So it started growing in his belly. So he had like a little thing growing in his belly like his little brother or whatever. But... <laughs> The doctor pulled it out of his belly, you guys. I swear to God, that shit is so nasty. I need to just try to show you guys a clip. I'm sorry. Whose stomach was the mutated body of his own twin brother. What the hell? One of the world's strangest medical conditions. It's called fetus in fetu. That shit is so nasty, you guys. Oh my God. I cannot believe it. Oh my God. That shit is so gross. I like, I hate seeing that thing right now. That's so weird to me, you guys. I really. One fetus wraps around.